Hey everybody, Mrs. Bodoshan here. Today we're gonna to learn how to do two-step mole equations. So I want you to think of this as a road map to look at. And these arrows are representing our road or pathway that we can go on. Um, and you have to stay on your road, okay? So if we wanna go from grams to particles, there is no straight shot road to get there. We're gonna to have to go through moles in order to get there, right? And same thing going in reverse. If we wanna start with particles and end up with grams, we can't just go straight there, there's no road. We have to go through moles or convert to moles and then go to grams. So these are your ratios that you're gonna be using in order to get to where you wanna be. Um, but I wanna show you what your bridge is really gonna be set up looking like. So what you're given is always in your upper left-hand corner and the same units will be diagonal down. So notice they're the same color because the units will be the same. And then we have moles in the middle. This top row is our roadmap that we just looked at, right? So we're gonna pass through moles and then diagonal down is gonna be moles as well. Now top right hand corner will always be what you want to find. So what the question is asking for you to actually solve for. Now remember, vertically up and down, these are gonna be equal to one another. So the moles have to be equal to whatever unit this is and vice versa. So the moles over here have to be equal to whatever unit this is as well. So let's go ahead and try one. How many grams of lithium is 3.45 times 10 to the 22nd atoms of lithium? So let's go ahead and look at our roadmap really quick. So we're looking for grams. So that's gonna be what we want but we're starting with atoms, okay? So we're starting over here, which we're, an atom is a particle, all right? So we're gonna start with particles. We have to go through moles, convert to moles first, and then go to grams last. So let's go ahead and set up our bridge. Always write down what you start with first, which is our 3.45 times 10 to the 22nd atoms of lithium, and diagonal down will then be atoms of lithium, right? We're gonna go through moles, uh, so it's gonna be in the middle and um, diagonal down from that has to be moles then. Our upper right hand corner is gonna be what we want. We want grams. So this spot is gonna be grams. Now let's talk about these numbers. One mole is equal to Avogadro's numbers worth of atoms. And this is just a fact that you're gonna have to memorize, okay? So you're gonna put the one mole in front and Avogadro's number in front of the atoms because these two are equivalent to one another. Now over here, one mole is equal to the molar mass of lithium, and this is in grams. So for this, we need to go to the periodic table. You need to look up lithium and get the mass of lithium, and it is 6.94 grams, okay? And these two are equal. Again, these two are equal as well. Because they're equivalent, we can go ahead and cross out some units. So we can cross out atoms of lithium and atoms of lithium, and we can go ahead and cross out moles of lithium and moles of lithium, leaving us with only grams of lithium left, which is exactly what the question asks us to find. So we're on the right track. Now we have to do our calculation. And the calculation is simple. You're gonna multiply the top across, you're gonna multiply the bottom across, and then you're gonna divide those numbers. Remember that when you're dividing, the top number goes in the calculator first and the bottom goes in the calculator second. So when you do that, you end up getting 0 0.4 grams of lithium. Let's go ahead and look at another one. But before we do, I want to just remind you, we're following our whole color scheme of what happened first. So here's our given diagonal down is the same units. We went through moles, right? And then that means that our diagonal down is also moles. And then here's what we wanted to end with, which was grams. So we're following our color scheme. If that helps you, that's awesome. Go ahead and use it. Let's try another problem. How many of atoms are there in 325 grams of copper? Well, we're gonna start with grams this time. So we're starting over here and we want how many atoms, right? So we need to uh, finish with atoms, which is the type of particle over here. So we're gonna go from grams to moles and then back down to atoms, okay? So let's go ahead and fill out our bridge. We start with 325 grams of copper. That means diagonal down must be grams of copper. Uh, what did we have to go through on our roadmap? We had to go through moles, right? So moles of copper will be up top. 
If moles of copper is up top, diagonal down has to be moles of copper as well. And remember, upper right-hand corner is what we want to find. It says how many atoms. So this is going to be atoms of copper. Let's talk about the numbers. Uh, if you can just remember that one mole is equal to molar mass, this one's going to be really simple for you, right? So you put a one in front of the mole. We're going to go to the periodic table and look up copper and find that the mass is 63.55 grams. So these two are equivalent to each other. One mole equals the molar mass of copper. Over here, one mole equals Avogadro's number of atoms of copper. So if you can remember the fact that one mole is equal to Avogadro's number, then you can remember uh, what to put here. The tricky part is Avogadro's number is really for particles, right? The 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd particles is equal to one mole, but particles is like an umbrella word, right? There's a lot that goes underneath it. So we could say formula units, atoms, molecules, ions, electrons, at like there's so many different things that qualify as a particle. So if you see any of those as your unit, it's going to be Avogadro's number, okay? Now we can go ahead and cross out our units. So grams of copper, grams of copper are canceled out. Moles of copper, moles of copper get canceled out. And we are left with atoms of copper as our like final um, unit. We have to do the math part now in our calculators. We're going to multiply the top, get a number, multiply the bottom, get a number, and then divide those numbers, right? So in your calculator, you would type 325 times one times Avogadro's number and then get an answer. And then on the bottom, you would do 63.55 times one, which is just 63.55, right? And then you would do the top answer divided by the bottom answer, and you would end up getting 3.1 times 10 to the 24th atoms of copper. And this is rounded, you guys, just to note that, okay? So I hope this was helpful. Um, if you liked it, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel to see more, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, everybody.